Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Valorant error 9003. This built of Vanguard required secure boot in order to play. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. First of all, I will make you one thing very clear that you are not able to play Valorant until you enable secure boot and boot your windows in UEFI mode. So make sure you did both the things by entering into a BIOS menu, which I will tell you in this video. However, if you have enabled both the settings and still unable to play Valorant, here is the next step that you need to perform. Head over to your settings menu, click on the apps, here click on the optional features available, scroll down and click on the option more windows feature. Here make sure you uncheck the option Hyper-V. Secondly is scroll down and windows hypervisor platform and virtual machine platform all these three options must be unchecked from this windows additional features this way you have turned off the virtualization which is a major cause of valorant error 9003 next is click on the start menu and type powershell run powershell as an administrator next is type a command which is get slash tpm and hit the enter key. Now here make sure that tpm present and all these features must be true. If one of them is false, you will not be able to play Valorant because your tpm is not active. Next list type here confirm slash secure boot uefi and hit the enter key. It must be true as it is showing right over here. If it is false, that means you have enabled or boot your windows in legacy BIOS which is more supported by Valorant in your Windows 11. So you need to roll back your PC to Windows 10. Now if one of the option is false either in this area or in UEFI boot, let's proceed how you can enable it. For that you need to enter into your BIOS menu by heading over to the settings, click on the option recovery. And here click on the option of advanced startup restart now. Once you click on the restart now, you will enter into the BIOS menu. I'll go ahead and click on the option to enter into BIOS menu. Now from here, click on the option troubleshoot. Now click on advanced options and click on UEFI firmware settings. Again, click on the restart button to restart your system into UEFI mode. Now you can see it is showing the F10 key which is my BIOS setup key. So I'll go ahead and press the F10 key to enter into the BIOS menu of my PC. So here is my BIOS menu. From here you need to enable UEFI mode, enable secure boot and disable virtualization. Using your arrows key left and right you can toggle these menus available over here. Now under the security tab you will find an option of TPM device. Click on it and it must be available using the up and down keys and hit the enter key. Second is TPM state. Hit the enter key again and you can using the up and down arrow keys to enable or disable it. So select disable and hit the, I mean select enable and hit the enter key. Now head to the configuration tab and you will find the option of virtualization technology. Hit the enter key and again using the up and down arrow keys make sure you make it disable. Now select boot options and here you will find the option of secure boot. Hit the enter key and again enable it. One more thing friends, if secure boot is not available in your end, you need to disable the CSM mode which will be available right in this boot menu or else in the security tab, depending upon the type of motherboard you have. But make sure to disable CSM in order to enable the secure boot of your PC. Nextly is, if secure boot state at your end, it is either standard or custom. Make sure you choose it as standard. If you have already done this, first choose the custom, then hit the F10 key. F10 means save changes. Then hit the enter key again and this will again restart your PC. After doing the custom, again enter into the BIOS menu and this time again choose your secure boot as a standard option. After changing standard to custom and then custom to standard. Again, hit the F10 key to save the changes and this will completely fix out the issue of WAN error code 9003 and you will be able to play Valorant in your Windows 11. So I hope it is clear for you. I'll go ahead 
and restart my system. So this is all about it friends. This is how you will fix the issue with Valorant. If all method fails, the only hope you have is to roll back or go back to the Windows 10 to play the Valorant game. So that's all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.